Hi, Bubba Fan. So today we're gonna to be cooking the most amazing chicken thigh recipe you've ever tasted. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. Now don't forget everything you can use in the video today. There are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipes down there as well. Well, so today we're gonna to be cooking the most amazing moist chicken thighs you've ever tasted. Now you can do this on the Weber kettle, you can do it on the Genesis, and you can even do it on the Q. All you need is an indirect cooking system. So what we'll do is dive straight into it. There's a couple of things you're gonna to need to repair this recipe. So today I'm using a Qware pan. There will be links in the description below of where to get them from. You can use a casserole dish. Also, you're gonna need a mixing bowl, and this is to mix our dry rub. Obviously ingredients, and we'll start preparing our chicken. Right, so to prepare our chicken first, what we're gonna do is just start cooking off some of the excess fat. Now you're gonna to wanna to wash your hands intermittently just to stop cross-contamination. Now we've cut most of that fat off, we're gonna wash it in some lime and some vinegar and some salt, just to get rid of any of those yellow parts on the chicken that may be there. So we've cleaned our chicken off, we're just gonna pat everything dry, just with some paper towel. So now we've patted that chicken dry, we're gonna start preparing our seasoning. With our seasoning, we're gonna use one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion flakes, half a tablespoon of dried thyme, a teaspoon of ground black pepper, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of parsley, a tablespoon of mixed herbs, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a tablespoon of chili powder. So we'll just give that a mix up. Now we've got our chicken and our cuer pan. We're just going to drizzle that with some oil. And now we'll just add our seasoning. Now don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipes down there as well. Right, so as you can see, our chicken is well seasoned. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna cover this chicken and put it in the fridge for at least 12 hours. Right, so it's the following day and our chicken's been in that fridge overnight, so around 12 hours, so all those flavors should have infused into that meat. So what I'm gonna to do to up the flavor of this chicken is I'm gonna smoke it a little bit. We're gonna put a smoker packet in with some cherry chips in there. Now if you're making a smoker packet, I'll show you how to, I'll put an all kind of link into a video, so make sure you check that out. You don't have to wet the wood chip, just leave them dry when you put them in that smoker packet. Get the queue set up for indirect cooking, get that smoker packet on, and once that smoker packet starts smoking, we'll get the chicken straight on. Right, so our queue's been heating for around 20 minutes and that smoker packet has started to smoke. I'm gonna move the smoker packet to the back and our chicken has been out for the same amount of time just to bring that temperature up because if you put cold chicken straight in your queue, it's not gonna cook evenly. So what we'll do now is get this chicken on. smoke going our chicken's been put on and it should be in for around 40 to 45 minutes on high you want to keep it at around 175 degrees celsius and i'll put on screen what that is in fahrenheit what we'll do is we'll check it at around the half hour mark see what temper kicking out and then we'll check it around the 40 minute mark
I've got our chicken off now and it smells divine. We're gonna let it rest for around 10 minutes in that QA pan with that lid on just to let everything relax and keep all that flavour infused into that meat. And once that's rested, we'll jump in, get it plated up and give it a bit of taste test. That chicken's really, really moist and it tastes amazing. It's got a little bit of kick from that chili powder, but it tastes absolutely awesome. Now don't forget everything you use in the video today, there are links in the description below for the best place to get your Weber products and the recipes down there as well. Also, as you can see, that chicken turned out amazing. Now there are some side dishes you can do with, and I will put all cards above linking to those, so make sure you check those out. Now you can do this recipe on the Weber kettle, you can do it on the Genesis, and you can do it on the Cures I have today. Now if you try this recipe out, make sure you comment down below, let me know how you get on and what you thought of it. For those who are new to the channel, if you find you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is cut to any bloopers and I'll catch you in the next one. Before we start this recipe, the f right, so there's a couple of things you're going to need to prepare this recipe. Whoops. 